What do you mean I can never drink again? Well, the medical fact is that once someone is addicted to alcohol, they can never drink again without triggering the uncontrollable cravings and insanity that active alcoholism produces. I'm Terry, a recovered alcoholic from EverydaySober.com. Check out my YouTube channel, Everyday Sober, for more sobriety videos. Today I'm going to share with you some of my daily tricks and tools I use to stay sober. I've had conversations with many recovered alcoholics that have achieved lasting sobriety, some with decades of sobriety, only to drink again. Every time they explained to me that their experience was worse than before. Sometimes their experiences were not that bad to begin with, but every time it eventually got much worse than before. The other thing I found most interesting and scary is what those that had achieved lasting sobriety only to drink again explained to me. They explained that when they started drinking again, it didn't feel like they started where they left off when they quit. They felt as if they had never stopped. Now that's super scary to me. That's why I never want to test drinking again. We'll do whatever I have to do to remain sober. So here's my daily tricks that you can use. The things I'm going to talk about were especially important to me in early sobriety, mainly because I hadn't developed any tools for sobriety yet. I had no idea what would trigger a craving or if just simply seeing a drink would cause me to drink. I needed a set of tools to use to make sure I didn't drink. So here you go. Try to either limit or eliminate the alcohol in your home. This includes obviously alcoholic drinks, but it also includes, includes medicines that contain alcohol and foods that contain alcohol. It's imperative to read labels. Also, don't drink non-alcoholic beer or non-alcoholic wine. Many non-alcoholic beers and wines contain a little bit of alcohol, sometimes around 0.5%. Don't eat foods that contain alcohol or sauces with alcohol. Generally speaking, the alcohol will be cooked out, but if it's not cooked enough, there's still going to be a little bit of alcohol in there. In a restaurant, they're often super busy. They may not have time to cook out all the alcohol. There's a couple of problems for an alcoholic when they ingest these items with low alcohol content. Psychologically speaking, when you drink non-alcoholic drinks that normally have alcohol, you may get the feeling you're drinking the real thing. It may cause you to be ambivalent about the actual alcoholic drink. You may then justify drinking that non-alcoholic drink. Another potential problem is, say you're enjoying your non-alcoholic drink in a public place where others are drinking alcohol. You put down your drink and then mistakenly pick up the wrong drink, like one with alcohol. For an alcoholic trying to stay sober, this could be disastrous. Any amount of alcohol for a person with an addiction to it can trigger the craving that's associated with someone that's actually in that act of alcoholic behavior. Try to have certain completely non-alcoholic beverages that you can drink throughout the day. Always try to drink lots of water, obviously, but you can also drink things like sparkling water, iced tea, coffee, hot tea. My daytime drinks ice water with fresh lemon juice. You can drink smoothies, infused waters, the list goes on and on. Just try to have something handy that you like. Also have a few special occasion, no alcohol drinks that you can order when you're going out. Examples could be like a Thai iced tea, a Roy Rogers, a Shirley Temple. You could do a Kiwi ginger spritzer. You just have to be careful to make sure there's no alcohol in them and that they don't trigger that craving for one with alcohol. Some other things I do, or actually I don't do, is I don't go to bars unless there's a legitimate reason to go there. If I'm going out to eat dinner, I make sure we don't sit in the bar. A lot of recovering alcoholics I talk to, they try to stay out of the alcohol and beer aisles at markets. But you got to be realistic about your alcoholism. There's no way to avoid alcohol completely. So you need to have the tools necessary to not desire a drink. Even with these tools, you may find you still crave an alcoholic drink, even long after becoming sober. You have to understand that this may happen for no known reason. You need to have the right tools to deal with the craving. Someone to call, something non-alcoholic to drink, somewhere to go like a recovery meeting, meditation, maybe even a prayer. Usually one just needs around 15 minutes to get over that craving. The key is, is to pause and not drink. Try to avoid situations that might trigger a craving. Stressful situations like bars, parties, alcohol aisles and markets celebration activities that have alcohol, friends and family that might be drinking. You're not going to be able to eliminate these activities completely, but as your sobriety continues, you'll learn how to deal with them. 
A good way to avoid stressful situations is to try to simplify your life. I know it's way easier said than done, but usually just living a sober life will become less stressful all by itself. Try not to let overwhelming problems become too stressful. Once again, easier said than done, I know. It can help by trying to understand that you may only have a limited amount of control over the situation that's causing the stress. Try to take care of only the things you have control over. Try to take care of things just a little bit at a time. A little work on a daily basis is going to produce huge results. These are just a few of the things I did in early sobriety to stay sober each day. The important thing is that if you're an alcoholic trying to stay sober, you need to remember that sobriety must be your top priority. I still use these tools daily. I also learned that sobriety is not just about avoiding alcohol, it's about getting to the point where alcohol is not an issue. I simply have no desire for it. For me, it's not hard work, it's consistent work on a daily basis. Go to EverydaySober.com for more tricks and tools on how to stay sober. Check out my YouTube channel, Everyday Sober, for more sobriety videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make a comment below so we can help each other. I'm Terry, a recovered alcoholic. Thanks for checking out my tips for staying sober.